Hello everybody, Excalibur here of Excalibur Zone Gaming, and, yep, uh, you saw the intro, it's another D6 crack pack. Yeah, two in a row, I decided that I was going to go ahead and splurge a little bit and give myself some some magic cards. As always, I'm going to roll dice. We're going to start off with a D6, and that will tell us which pack we're going to open first. A D5, divide by two, a uh, D10 actually, which turns, divide by two, it becomes D5, will tell us the second pack. A D4 will tell us a third pack, and then D6 for the fourth, and uh, divide by two, and odds or evens on the D6 for the fifth, and the sixth will just be opened. So here we go with our sixth cider die. I really wish I had more cameras so that I could film the die rolling. And there we go. It's a, it's a pack three. So right here, one, two, three. And go ahead and crack this open been seeing her a lot on the packs. I wonder if there's a bias in the, the packaging that's going on there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and read off the commons as always, and the uncommons I'll show, and the rare I'll show um, up on camera. So we have Shatter, Tus Tusked Colossodon, Glacial Stalker, Rakshasa Secret, Bring Low, Highland Game, uh, Scour Barons, which is manifesting. I set that aside, because whenever I build decks, um, your mana base is what really helps your deck, and if you have a lot of fixing going on in there, you want to be able to pull from that um, pool that you have. Um, embodiment of Spring, Unyielding Krumar, Smite the Monstrous. And then here we go. I've been looking for this next one, actually. I'm going to show you up. that We've gotten cards that are, huh, the Abzan Battle Priest. That was interesting. Everything in the middle just dropped, so that's try it again. Didn't land in my drink, so that's awesome. So we've got an Abzan Battle Priest. I've been looking for one of him. He goes over here. We have Incremental Growth. And then we have Water Whirl. Almost thought of Kevin Costner there, Water World, oh boy. The rare is a Rakshasa Death Dealer. These guys are pretty good. I really like them. And uh I think I want to build a deck that has them in it. Uh, and we get a planes, and we already saw it was a crappy tip card. Um, it's, well, an ad card, I should say, and somebody just messaged me. <laughs> so let's see here. I'm going to roll the d10. And we get a 6. And that's, as you can see, a 6. Uh, I could be picking up in it. Doesn't really matter. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See what we get. We got the Soul Tie Lady again. Well, there are only like three different packaging. Hmm, I don't know. One of these days I'll have to figure that out. We got a Mardu Hate Blade, Mardu Skull Hunter, Feed the Clan. I'll gain five life or ten if you control a creature with four or greater. That's actually really nice for green. Um, Force Away, a Windscarred Crag, Bring Low. A Snowhorn Rider, Stagecraft, and a Teamer Banner. And uh, I've got a foil in there. I don't know what it is. I just happen to see it. So here we go. We've got a Mardu Battle Bra uh, Blazebringer, um, followed by uh, Take Up Arms. Now the Blazebringer is when it attacks or blocks, sacrifice at end of combat. Oh, yeah, that guy. Um, useless unless you. Um, pair him up with the throne or something like that. Take up arms, and then we have a Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, which is a really nice land. We have a oh, Ghost Fire Blade. That's not a bad rare. It's not a good rare. And then we have a Foil Mardu War Shrieker. The Ghost Fire Blade gives plus two, plus two. It costs, equip is three, and it costs two less um, if you attach it to a colorless. And then we've got a morph and a mountain. All right, we have a day four. Let's roll the day four. And we've rolled a three. It's been a night of threes. That is fun. So pull that out. And it's the, the warrior lady again. Do, 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 do. Circus. Oh boy, Afro Circus has been stuck in my head all day long. Okay, we've got Crippling Chill, 
Inak Tracker, Defiant Strike, Skullkin, Kumar Bondkin, Feed the Clan, Throttle, and Scout the Borders, and a Lens of Clarity, and a Shambling Attendance. Okay, for our... Yeah, that's where I'm putting the commons. For our uncommons, we have a Sultai Flare. We have a Watcher of the Roost. Let's turn face up. It gets You gain two life. It's got morph. It costs three. It's a bird soldier. Flying to one. Um, it's actually, outside of the flying, this is a pretty nice card by itself. Then we've got a Mardu Rough Rider. Then finally the rare is, ooh, a Flooded Strand. And I was looking for one of these. And what do we have after that? A Plains. Imagine that. Finally, another morph! Hooray! Hooray for morphs, they make me smile. So we have three. We roll the d6. If I roll a five or a six, we're opening up the third pack, and the streak continues to the end. It's a two. <laughs> One, two. So. Eh, we didn't get it all the way to the end. Would have been cool if we got one, 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 one. Uh, that's pretty statistically improbable, but it would have been fun to do it anyway. So, we have ourselves a Naturalize, a Jeskai Student, a Rotting Mastodon, a Kin Tree Warden, and a, Sol a Swift Water Cliffs. Yeah, I can speak. Jeskai Wind Scout, Disowned Ancestor, a Rush of Battle, and a Bloodfire Mentor. Mentor. Let's show this. We've got the Venerable Lamasu Armament Core and Suspension Field. Actually, looking for another one of these. Finally, we have a Grim Harry Specs. Hmm. Okay. And then the land. Oh! A foil. Gurmag Swiftwing. That was a nice little surprise. I thought it would be the land. Which is a swamp. It is the swamp. And then we have... Ah, uh, crap. Alright. Now. I'm going to roll that d6. Odd or even. It's odd. <laughs> Another three. So we're going to take that first one and we will open it up. Looks like Narset again. Yep. Our set. So here we go. Felt like there's a spider on my head. We've got Swift Kick, Awaken the Bear, Dutiful Return, Disdainful Stroke, Kintree Warden, a Scoured Barons, Smite the Monstrous, Bloodfire Mentor, a Lens of Clarity, and an Archer's Parapet. Parapet, parapet. Um, here we go. The uncommons are Hordling Outburst, Become Immense, let's see here, and Quiet Contemplation. The rare, ooh, Hardened Scales, that's actually a really nice green enchantment. And we have a Plains with crap. Getting way too many of these things. Alright, last pack. Let's open it up, open it up, open it up, and we'll see what we get. We have a Woolly Loxodon, Defiant Strike, Trumpet Blast, Alpine Grizzly, Debilitating Injury, Blossoming Sands, Abzan Guide, Abzan Banner, and a Rite of the Serpent. Now, uh, the cool thing about the, the life lands, you, you put them down, they come into play tapped, you gain life. You can use them in Pauper because they're common. So here we go. We have Chief of the Scale. Ride Down. I love this card. And a Despise. And our rare is another Ghost Blade. Hooray! And we have a foil roar of challenge. 
We got a good number of foils this time. We followed by a swamp. Don't be a tip card. Don't be a tip card. Oh, that's a morph. That's just about as bad. Anybody want a morph? I've got a used one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so it's like I think all the foils were commons and uncommons. Yeah, but um, uh, foils and rares. We got nine in this in this pack. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so, like I said, this <laughs> flooded strand is going into my Bruna deck without hesitation. Where are my rares? They are somewhere. I'll put them right here. Um, so, excuse me. As I said, I'm going to be going to uh, game day on Saturday, and I will be partaking of the Commander Tournament. And uh, the good thing is Richmond Comics, actually, if you... Uh, playing commander you get free entry into game day so I'm going to be uh, completely modifying one of my previous FNM decks um, whether I spoil the deck or not um, I'm gonna be doing it on game day and see how well I do with it with the updated cards I hope I can do better um, we'll see I tend to be doing two and two but uh, a, a lot of this stuff that's coming out is crazy fast um, there are some turn three win combat combos in um, in modern with some of the new cards that are crazy 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 so we'll see I expect there's going to be a lot of blue white players there um, with the Jeskai Ascendancy I think that's the one that uh, um, you uh, untap uh, your creature um, when uh, untap a creature I, I can't remember what it does but uh, you can go infinite with it. And uh, I'm wondering if how many people are actually going to be loading their decks up with that combo and going out on FNM and um, going ham on uh, game day for it. So we'll have to see what's going on. Hopefully I can do some good stuff there. Uh, we'll have to see. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely have to see. But I will give you a report. Um, after the event on how well I did in both EDH tournament, what EDH deck I used, um, and I will uh, spoil my standard deck and how well I did on that. Um, chances are I'm probably only going to get two and two on game day, but we'll have to see. Um, the last couple of times with uh, EDH I've been lucking out because I've been focusing the decks onto certain mechanics, like with my Bruna deck, it's all about enchantments and auras and uh, um, I think things are really going to look up when uh, um, I bring in the next deck because it's going to be different because everybody expects me to bring the Bruna deck so I'm going to be bringing something different and we'll see uh, see how they handle that one and it's not going to be a super combo piece uh, general either like Grimgrin or Kiki I might play with them in the deck if I put that deck together but we'll have to see but uh, until next time enjoy playing games Go out and enjoy game day. I challenge you. Please like, favorite, and su subscribe to this video. Um, well, subscribe to me. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me out. It also increases all my giveaways so that more magic cards get added to the pot for uh, my subscription drive giveaway. Uh, if you get a chance, please check out my Patreon page at www.patreon.com. It will really help out a lot of people besides me because I take half of my net proceeds from Patreon and give it to charity. Um, so if you become a patron, you are supporting that. As always, I'm Excalibur, and I'm out.